to time this together. All right, one more time. Look, it's your old binoculars. Amazing! Let's find Rose. Mm. Oh, Rose. Rose. Uh, yeah, yeah. We uh, we need to find her. Oh yes, I know we look like dolls, but we're actually her parents. I know who you are. Nothing escapes my lenses. Look. What? In in here? All right. Okay. Um. See. Uh. Huh. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, I look dead. Am I dead? You're not dead. Oh. What? What's going on? Oh, no. What's the matter with us? Hmm. All I know is that Rose sat down there with her dolls, and then you two came alive. Just like that? You didn't see anything else? Well, there was one unusual thing. Why? What happened? She was crying. Oh. I know, quite unusual for Rose, but I am 100% sure because I could see her tears falling onto the dolls. Tears were falling onto the dolls. Oh, wait a minute. I know what happened. It's a spell! Don't be ridiculous, Cody. We've got to apply logic. May, okay? We are having a conversation with a pair of binoculars. Oh. There is no logic in that. For goodness sake, I don't even believe in spells. Okay, well, did you believe that you could be turned into a wooden doll? Huh? Exactly. It had to be the tears. It was a spell, I am telling you. So, if it is a spell, how do we break it? Okay, I got this. Yeah, me and Rose, we read all about this spell stuff. I'm a virtual wizard right now, okay? Just give me some space, I need to think. Okay, so if the spell was cast through her tears, then in order to break it... Oh. <laughs> in order to break it, we have to basically have to find her and make her cry on us again. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Fine. Okay. Uh, do you know where to find her, Miss Binoculars? Ooh. She's in her room. Go on. Okay. Thanks. Uh, come on, mate. Uh, oh, but how do we get to her room from here? Easy. We just climb the tree. Uh, oh, this way. Uh, what? You're never going to make that jump. Yeah? Watch me. Uh, oh, God damn it! Let me throw the ball! Whoa! Oh. Come on over! <laughs> well, throw us the rope! It's too far. Cody, where there is love, no distance is too far. Hey. Oh, shut up and just throw us the rope. Okay, okay, man, relax. Come on, huh? huh? You want the rope? You want the rope? Come on, you want it? You want it? Come on, come on. Take it! Woo! Oh. Woo! All right, let's swing across. Yeah, but whoa, that that tree is huge. Don't worry oh. about it. The rope will take us to Rose in an instant. Again? Ugh! I told Rose... Ugh. Again? Ugh! I told Rose not to throw her shoes up here. Oops. <laughs> I told her I did that when I was a kid. So you're the guilty one. She's outgrown them anyway. Rose. No? Why do you ask? There are windows. Oh. Who could have built those? <laughs> hey, 
There's our swing. Finally, a use for that thing. Let's get across. Still got it. I-I don't see a way to get to Rose's room yet! Let's get higher! What's it doing up here? Looks like a pulley controls it. <laughs> hey, look, Cody, a door. A door? In a tree? I don't like it. We gotta get to Rose's room. But can't you see how far away it is? Yes, I can see how far away it is. That's why we gotta keep moving. Maybe there's someone inside who can help us. Really? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait! What, what are you doing? We don't know what's inside there. Come on, it might be a shortcut to the house. Yeah, but what if it's not? What if it... Sent you. No one. Uh, <laughs> we come in peace. We're trying to get to the house. The house? What's your business there? We haven't got time for this. Is this a shortcut or not? <laughs> Oh, I told you this was a bad idea. Not helpful. Come on, help me push. It's too heavy. Why the glass jar? Well, at least we can see through it. Oh, that's great. Dad? Dad, I have to tell you something. It's important. Uh, have you heard of this book by um, Dr. Hakim? Uh, he says that it's important to forgive each other. Because then you can become friends again. If you want, you can borrow the book. Okay. You're busy. 
Sorry. Cody, are you okay? Yeah, it's been better, but I'm okay. Are you working for the Wasps? Uh, what? The Wasps? Don't play dumb. Did they send you here to kill us? What? Kill you? No! We're not working for any Wasps! We'll see you side you're on. Pull a switch. You got it, Chief. Oh, oh, get away! Get away! Get away! Oh. Team. And why don't they die? Maybe they have superpowers. What if they can help us? Let's find out. Abort. Oh. Oh. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, you? Yeah, oh. just about. That was terrible. Horrendous. Oh. Oh. May? Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh my gosh. hey there, Mr. Uh, oh. Mr. Big Squirrel. Oh. So, you want to get to the house? Yes. We can get you there. Really? You... Oh. that's very, um... kind. On one condition. <laughs> what do you mean? Follow me. Come on, come on. This is a terrible idea. C come on, Cody. God, I don't want to go. <laughs> Hey, mate, that's our remote control. They stole it. Those sneaky rodents. Look, our family photos. What could they want with those? I don't know. But we look good. Hey, that's my underwear. Hardly oh, loss. You used to love that underwear. Mm. Used to. The wasps have invaded our tree and wiped out most of our tribe. You two must kill them. What? <laughs> we can't kill those crazy creatures, you nuts. No, no offense. Don't worry. You'll just survive two of them. Against a whole swarm of them, surely we'll die. That's why you're going to need these. My latest in cyber hazelnut technology. The tree sap Abshaiki 57. Oh. Huh. oh. Combined with a drill buzzer X200. Oh! Oh. Boom. Oh. Huh. There's one more thing. We sent in an undercover agent who could operate our queen robot. As planned, the wasps believed the robot was their real queen. But instead of wiping out the wasps, our agent was seduced by its power and switched sides. So, kill the wasps and the agent in the robot and we'll help you get to the house. Understood? Ah, uh, yeah, sure, but uh, isn't there a more civilized way that we can... <laughs> <laughs> don't want to have to kill giant wasps. Well, you wouldn't have to if you'd cleaned out the hive. What? What, what hive? Remember? In the real world? In our tree? I asked you so many times and you promised to get rid of it. Yeah, yeah, fine, fine. But we wouldn't even be here if you hadn't knocked on the squirrel's door. Well, at least they're going to lead us to the house. What, are you kidding me? You, you, you believe that? I don't trust those squirrels. They stole my underwear. Oh, believe me. That was a blessing. Really? Well, at least my underwear is now a sophisticated part of a flying machine. Oh, I sincerely doubt it can fly. Of course you do! Gah. 
You know what? I can't wait to get back to my real body so that we can get the force. Oh, me too. Oh. Oh. May? May, what now? I guess it's time to kill some wasps. What? Alone? Don't worry, we've got weapons. What do you mean these homemade squirrel DIY drill bazer tap shiky things? Oh, you saw how powerful they are. Let's drill baz. Target, huh? weren't kidding. Yeah, this is a war zone. This is impressive. I'm getting spooky by it. Please turn back. I'm afraid that won't be possible. We've sealed the doors behind you to protect against the wall. Your only way out is the wall's flare over there.
It's zapped up! 